we're going to find the derivative of inverse sine of x at x equals root 3 over 2. So for this, we're going to define g of x to be sine of x. So then the inverse g of x will be inverse sine of x, which happens to be f of x. Okay, so if I want to take the derivative of f of x, that's the same thing as taking the derivative of inverse of g, which is 1 over g prime of g inverse of x. Okay, so we want to find the derivative at x equals root 3 over 2. So I'm going to plug in root 3 over 2. Okay, so that is the same thing as finding the inverse sine of root 3 over 2, right? Because inverse of g is inverse of sine. So we know that the inverse sine function looks like this. For the um, the range, right? So it goes from negative pi over two to pi over two. Okay, so we want root three over two, which is up here, right? So that's one half comma root three over two. The y value, I'm sorry, the angle that corresponds to this point is pi over six, or pi, sorry, pi over three which is 60 degrees. And now we just need to take the derivative of g and plug in pi over 3. Well, g we set as sine of x, so the derivative of g is cosine of x. So we need to find 1 over cosine of pi over 3, which we do have here. It's the x value. So that would just be 1 over 1 half, which is 2. So our answer is d.